Welcome to the Hyper-V and System Center Virtual Machine Manager Certification Package. I'm Greg Shields. You know, virtualization has become quite the hot topic in the last couple of years. Whereas it was previously relegated to our enterprise data centers and those that could afford expensive virtualization platforms, Microsoft's entry into the virtualization market with its release of Windows Hyper-V has really brought about virtualization that's affordable for even the small businesses of the world. Whether you're a small business or if whether you're an enterprise organization looking for virtualization, Hyper-V can provide, and along with its System Center virtual machine manager management component, the types of virtualization that you need to consolidate your environment, to bring about better use of your physical resources, and to really improve your management of your workloads inside of your data center or computer room. You know, you're here today to learn about Hyper-V, and you're here to learn about how System Center Virtual Machine Manager can layer on top of Hyper-V to provide the right levels of management that make this entire process very easy. And hopefully, between the two of us over the next series of 20 nuggets, we'll actually delve through all the different focuses of both Hyper-V and System Center Virtual Machine Manager so that you can learn exactly what you need to know. Now, first and foremost, we need to talk a little bit about really why are we here? You know, why are we going to sit down over these next 20 nuggets and spend this period of hours learning about both Hyper-V and Virtual Machine Manager? There are a number of reasons why you may be here today. A lot of you will be here because you want to learn the things that you need to know to prepare for the Microsoft examinations for both Hyper-V and for VMM. Others, you may be interested in just learning the technology so you can prepare yourselves and be a better administrator of those virtual environments. No matter what your reasons for being here, though, you are going to be able to learn and be able to work with every component of Hyper-V and Virtual Machine Manager so that you'll understand where all of these elements integrate together and how to make use of all of these in your own environment. We're going to talk in this nugget about not only why are we here, but we're also going to talk about what those Microsoft virtualization certifications are and how we are going to go about layering through all the different topics in Hyper-V and VMM so that you'll be best prepared for that Microsoft virtualization certification. We'll talk about the exam audience profile and some of the objectives associated with those exams and also a little bit about the CBT Nuggets environment that I've built here today that that we are actually going to slowly develop over this period of nuggets so that you can understand all of those pieces. At the conclusion, you'll get a little bit of additional resources that you can go to for some reference material for those extra little things that you might want to be aware of in your environment today. But before we actually talk about anything, what we really need to do is focus just a bit on the Microsoft virtualization certifications that are out there, and specifically the certification path that you may be interested in going through to start yourself from a virtualization zero to a virtualization hero. The first virtualization certification is the 70-652 exam, which is labeled the MCTS Windows Server Virtualization Configuring Exam. Now, it's originally labeled Windows Server Virtualization because that's the actual name for Hyper-V back in the beta days of Windows Server 2008 in the RTM version. Way, way, way back before we actually called it Hyper-V, we called it Windows Server Virtualization. Now, if you take the 70-652 exam, you will acquire the Microsoft Certified Technical Specialist Certification for Windows Server Virtualization. All in, of, in and of itself, with a single exam, you will get that MCTS certification. Now, if you wish to expand your knowledge, you can go on to the 70-403 exam, which is MCTS for System Center Virtual Machine Manager version 2008, and it's the configuring exam, which will net you a second MCTS certification for your career path. Now, one thing I'll show you is throughout this nugget and throughout all the nuggets, you're going to see the terms SCVMM and VMM used interchangeably. VMM obviously stands for Virtual Machine Manager, and SCVMM stands for System Center Virtual Machine Manager, but they are functionally equivalent in what in the, the products and technologies that they're talking about. This series will discuss discuss all of the requirements necessary for you to be successful with both the 70-652 exam as well as the 70-403 exam. And so you're kind of getting a two-for-one deal with this particular uh, CBT nugget because there are two exams that we're going to talk about. We're going to start first by talking about the Hyper-V content. And to help you understand all of the different bits and parts that are necessary to be successful with Hyper-V. 
we need to start there because the second half will involve layering System Center Virtual Machine Manager over the top of Hyper-V and using its management for some of the more advanced tasks that you'll want to do once your number of Hyper-V servers goes much beyond one or two. Now you'll notice down here that there's a third examination here that is to be determined called MCITP Virtualization Administrator. At the time of this filming, there is no MCITP or Microsoft Certified IT Professional exam that capstones off this virtualization certification path. Although Microsoft has telegraphed that there may be a virtualization administrator exam with that ITP capstone at some point in the indeterminate future. At this point, be aware that there will be some linkage between 652, 403, and whatever that exam is, or by the time that Microsoft releases that ITP exam, whatever the replacements are for these MCTS exams. If you remember your Microsoft and the new Microsoft certification program, Microsoft Technical Specialist exams will expire a short period of time after the agreement or the level of support or the date of support for a particular product expires. So the 70-652 exam will be available and will be something that remains on your record for a period of time after Windows Server 2008, the RTM version, goes out of life cycle. The same thing for SCVMM 2008. Once we move off to another version of System Center Virtual Machine Manager, this exam will eventually go away off of your off of your transcript after that period of its supportability. So even if you take that exam today, there's going to be a number of years of relevance of that exam into your Microsoft transcript. Now that we understand this though, you probably are probably asking the questions about, well, am I the right person to take this exam? Am I the right profile of the audience that this exam is designed for? Well, Microsoft has released an audience profile for both of these exams to help candidates determine whether or not they make a good uh, or, or they're the right person, shall we say, to actually take this exam. For the Hyper-V exam 7652, Microsoft suggests that candidates for this exam typically have more than one and a half years of experience working at Windows Server 2003 or Windows Server 2008. Now what this means is if you've been a systems administrator for at least a year, year and a half, and you have some familiarity with virtualization products and virtualization technologies, then you're probably going to do well with this exam. Typically the MCTS exams have been relatively relatively technology oriented in the way that they've been written. So if you understand the, the steps that you need to go through to accomplish a particular task, if you understand what the different options are available for you inside of the various interfaces, you'll do fine with these MCTS exams. Now, I will tell you that this particular series is not necessarily intended to assist you with the core topics associated with virtualization. As we'll talk about in a minute, we will have one specific nugget where we will talk about some of the core basics, but for the most part, there is an expectation that you have some basic level of understanding of what virtualization is and what products and technologies are out there. Because of that, we're going to use that information to actually leverage what we will learn about Hyper-V and System Center Virtual Machine Manager over the top of that core understanding. With, for the 70-403 exam, Microsoft suggests that candidates for this exam may, have used System Center Virtual Machine Manager and have at least six months to a year of experience using virtualization and more than one year of experience with a Windows Server infrastructure. And so Microsoft suggests that you need to have at least worked with System Center Virtual Machine Manager for a period of time before you go about actually fulfilling its exam requirements. And I'll tell you, the exam questions that you're going to get are going to be directly related to the things that you're going to see inside of System Center Virtual Machine Manager. As we actually go through these series of nuggets, you may decide that it may be worth your while to create your own test or demonstration environment so that you can follow along as I I show you the various things and demonstrate the various things that we'll see inside of the interface. Doing as I am teaching will help you to not only experience it firsthand, but to hear it and to read it and to see it and to do it all at once. Now with this understanding, let's actually take a look at some of the specific objectives for each of these exams. If we take a look at first at the 70-652 exam, you'll see that we break the objectives down into four different halves. And I have, specific to each one of these four major bullet points, the percentage weighting associated with each bullet point. Installing Hyper-V is 14% weighting, configuring and optimizing is 20%, deploying virtual machines is 30%, and managing and monitoring virtual machines is 36%. And while those weightings are a little bit subjective because they, they really don't give you a good idea of 
really what the questions are, the specific sub-bullets in each one of these are going to do a very good job of helping you understand where you need to align your studying for. Under the first one, installing Hyper-V, if you understand how to select and configure hardware to meet Hyper-V prerequisites, if you understand how to configure Server 2008 for Hyper-V, and how to make Hyper-V highly available, you'll do well. For the second one, if you manage and optimize that Hyper-V server, if you know the things you need to do to, to work with that server, if you understand virtual networking and you know how to convert, configure remote administration, you'll also do well. When it comes to deploying virtual machines, we're going to talk about migrating computers to Hyper-V and how to create and clone virtual machines, and how to create virtual disks, and also some very interesting things with templates and profiles in the image library in SCVMM. And then lastly, with managing and monitoring virtual machines, we'll talk about monitoring and optimizing those virtual machines, how you can manage their performance and take a look at their perfmon settings, how you can manage their settings, and also snapshots and backups, and also configuring virtual machines for high availability. Each one of these subtopics will be touched on in one way or another by the 20 different nuggets in this series. And so hopefully at the conclusion of this, you'll be able to understand and have all the knowledge and information you need to be successful with these four major objectives for 70-652. Now there is a second exam, as we said before, in this buy one, get one free series, and that's 70-403. Now 70-403 deals more specifically with Virtual Machine Manager. And as such, the questions are going to involve around the things that you're going to see inside of the interface. Microsoft has not provided a list of percentage weightings for the 70-403 exam like they did with the earlier exam. But what we can use is this information to help us guide our learning again so that we will do successful on this test. In installing VMM, if we understand the server components and the administrator console and how to install it in the self-service portal and also the pro tips, which are the integration with Operations Manager, you'll do well with installing Virtual Machine Manager with that, that focus of the 70-403 exam. Administering VMM relates to configuring user roles, which we'll have an entire nugget associated with, as well as setting up self-service and maintaining the VMM library, and configuring hosts as well as monitoring jobs. All of these will additionally be nuggets that we'll take a look at in the second half of this series. Maintaining and monitoring VMs has a lot to do with configuring virtual machine hardware, and understanding virtual instance checkpoints and patches, as well as monitoring and reporting virtual machines. And then lastly, we're going to want to know about how to deploy and migrate machines, including converting from physical or virtual platforms. We'll have an entire video where we talk about the P to V and V to V process of how to convert from physical and other virtual platforms into Microsoft's VHD format. We'll talk about moving virtual machines between hosts, how to deploy virtual machines, and also how to deploy highly available virtual machines. As you'll find out, many of the tasks that you'll need to accomplish inside of System Center Virtual Machine Manager are things that are slightly different than the ways that they are done inside of the Hyper-V console. And so consequently, I've put together actually an entire uh, environment that you will actually be able to work with so we can take a look at all the different things as we learn about them. You'll see here that we have two hosts, HV Nugget 1 and HV Nugget 2, and currently two virtual machines on this Hyper-V Manager console. We also have a virtual machine manager environment too, in including those two hosts as well as the virtual machines. And we'll spend a lot of time working within this console and demonstrating all of the different features and functionality that we'll be learning associated with these objectives. In fact, each of the videos in this series have been aligned to build upon the previous videos. And so if you take a look at the initial videos, you'll see that the entire process throughout this entire video series starts with just understanding what virtualization is and how to plan that virtualization infrastructure, and then moving into configuring Windows Server for Hyper-V and creating your first virtual machines and monitoring their process and working with their backups and making them highly available and managing their high availability and their quick migration. And then once we understand Hyper-V and all of the, the topics associated with Hyper-V, we then move into introducing and installing Virtual Machine Manager and those and how those topics actually integrate with Virtual Machine Manager as well. We start with installing Virtual Machine Manager and understanding all of its different components. We take a look at the hosts and how we can manage the hosts. We take a look at the library and understanding and working with the Virtual Machine Manager library across the different computers inside of your environment. We'll do a very interesting topic on Virtual Machine Rapid Deployment in VMM and then talk about the high availability features with VMM and how you can use VMM to manage high availability and quick migration. We'll do some converting of machines, both P to V and V to V, and working with user profiles and self-service. We'll even talk about in the latter stages how you can integrate VMM with other system center products like Operations Manager, or even VMware products like VMware vCenter. And lastly, concluding with a little bit of uh, automation topics associated with managing Hyper-V and Windows PowerShell. And then lastly, kind of a futures look at what you can expect 
back with Hyper-V in, in Windows Server 2008 R2. We'll take a look at both Hyper-V and System Center Virtual Machine Manager in their R2 constructs. Now, in order to do this, I showed you a little bit about what the environment looks like that we're going to take a look at. But this is our CBT Nuggets environment that we'll be taking a look at throughout this entire series. We have a domain built together called NuggetLab.com. And inside of this domain are three hosts, DC Nugget, which is the domain controller for this, HV Nugget 1, and HV Nugget 2. Thank you.